in Ramadan. That's her question. Uh, we've come to Ramadan now, Sheikh, we've, we've entered it. But what's the deed that we should attain for? What's the thing that we should be looking for and trying to catch it? We did discuss this in details in the special issue on Friday. Mm -hmm. But briefly, this is a month which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened all the doors of goodness and righteousness. Mm -hmm. There is the Umrah. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa said that performing Umrah in Ramadan is similar to performing Hajj with me, mm -hmm. with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa There is giving iftar to a fasting person or persons because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa said man fattara sa'iman whoever gives an iftar uh, food for a, f a fasting person to break his fast with he will get a reward similar to his without diminishing the reward of any of them and of course best of all is besides fasting and controlling your tongue if you manage during this month to train yourself to restrain yourself from just speaking whenever you want to say and control your tongue, you are successful indeed. You will definitely be the best graduate of this school the month of Ramadan. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, فَمَنْ لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَ فِي أَنْ يَدَعْ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَبَهُ One who does not give up uh, saying falsehood or acting falsehood, then Allah is not interested in his fasting. He's not interested in him starving and experiencing thirst because Allah doesn't want you just to experience hunger and thirst. He wants you to improve your manners. He wants you to train yourself and discipline yourself through the Quran, through uh, abstaining from lawful acts initially, such as eating and drinking and having a relationship with your spouse. Dhikrullahi uh, Azza wa Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much. As far as the Qur'an, which is the month of, uh, Ramadan is the month of the Qur'an. Uh, once again, I remind myself and I remind all the viewers, make a special effort to finish the Qur'an several times. We began tonight, we prayed Taraweeh the first night tonight. The Imam got to recite a whole juz, the first juz. So if you maintain the Taraweeh on every single night behind an Imam who's reading one para, that means you get to finish the Qur'an once during this month. Then as we said before, and we suggested, you pray Fajr and Jama'ah, then you said you make your adhkar, the morning supplications, and you stay for 35 to 40 minutes, you get to recite another para. So this is minimum, minimum, twice you get to finish the Qur'an during the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a wonderful opportunity to uh, reconcile with your friends, with your brothers, with your family members, especially your kinship. So try to uphold the ties of your kinship as of today, give them phone calls, pay them visits, uh, exchange gifts. And even if they were at fault, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best of them is the one who, who starts with a greeting as a means for reconciliation. So there are a lot of doors of goodness are opened in this month. As the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whenever Ramadan comes, فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ All the doors of heaven will be open wide. And all the doors of fire will be locked and Satan's will be chained.